Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I'll be giving my review for one that I was excited for. Um, I didn't hear a lot of buzz about it, or a lot of talk about it. Uh, I only saw like one trailer for it, but I was I was excited for it. The one trailer I saw looked intriguing, and that was ISS. Um, so ISS is when a world, <clears throat> excuse me, a world war event occurs on Earth. America and Russia, both nations, secretly contact their astronauts aboard the ISS and give them instructions to take control of the station by any means necessary. Basically, Russia and, and, and um, America goes to war with each other. And astronauts see the start of it from their ship, from the ISS station. And they, um, as it says in there, they contact the ones on the station and say, hey, you need to take over the uh, the station by any means necessary. Um, your biggest stars in this, um, you got John Gallagher Jr., you got Chris Messina, and Ariana DeBose. This film was not what I wanted from it. This film bases itself around being intense, an intense thriller. Um, I just didn't get that from this movie. The, the, the acting was good, the effects were good, you know, score was fine, but overall, the movie just lacked an intensity. You know, it lacked that edgier seat feel to make you wonder who's going to attack who, what's going to happen first. What are, they're, I mean, they're confined in this little space station, and you would think you could build the intensity a little better, but you just didn't get it here. Um, I think I liked movies more, you know, I, I actually preferred Life uh, with Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, I think, in it. Um... You know, I prefer that over this one. Um, you know, and that's kind of like a thriller, sci-fi thriller where they're trapped on a thing with the alien. Uh, I think it does, they do it way better with that than they did in this one. Um, I prefer uh, movies like Underwater better. I think the intensity is more edgier seat even than Underwater. Um, so, this movie, to me, is just bottom tier when it comes to that edgier seat intensity. Um, and that just really drug the movie down. Um, for me, the movie kind of felt overly long because it just wasn't sucking me in. It wasn't making me on the edge of my seat. So, I ended up giving it a two and a half out of five. Um, the ending was just okay. I didn't really get, um, uh... Don't know where the astronauts were expecting to go by the end of it, but, um, but yeah, overall, I would say this is a two and a half out of five. Nothing I need to see again. Um, one that is, was definitely a disappointment. So, had, had higher hopes, not saying it was going to be amazing, but definitely had more higher hopes from the trailer that I saw. So, but that is everything. So, please, comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for videos, and we'll see you all in the next one.